What's up, what's up? It's your boy Ren Hill. All right, today I'm gonna show you guys how to create a 4K sequence and also the easiest way I find to edit a music video. First my intro and we're gonna get straight to it. Now we in Premiere Pro. The first thing you want to do is create a sequence. Well, that is after you drag everything into your, your project. Uh, all your clips, uh, your music, your intro, anything you're going to use for the video. The next thing you want to do is create a sequence. Most people want to grab a clip and just drag it down. That's not really, I wouldn't recommend that. You want your, your, your timeline to be 24 frames per second. You don't want your timeline to be a 30 frames or uh, 60 frame or 120 frames sec per second timeline. You want that movie look, that, uh, that look that our eyes are trained to, that 23, 0.976 or 24 frames per second look. So you create a sequence right here with this little tab, new item sequence. I already have custom uh, sequences made, but to create one, you, you have to click on settings right here. Uh, the editing mode usually have a lot that you can uh, choose from, different 1080s. Um, you can find a nice 1080 uh, preset. Or you can create it here with your time base at 23.976. Your frame size, your horizontal is going to be 3840. And your vert is going to be 2160. This is for 4K. Pixel aspect ratio, fields, display format. I think they are going to stay the same. If not, you choose square pixels, no fields, progressive scan for the fields, and display format 23.976. Your audio separator is going to be 48,000 display formats audio samples and you can save your preset here click save it as uh, 4k timeline or 4k uh, whatever you want to put or whatever you want to name it you also can name your sequence right here I'm just gonna name it sequence 03 and click OK all right so now you have your sequence down here the next thing you want to do is drag in your music. Now we're going to find, we're going to mark a spot on the song. Usually we're going to mark it on the, like a downbeat or a good spot that you can hear in your clip and put it to, to the same spot. So we're going to mark it on a downbeat and I kind of see right here that this is going to be a good spot. So let's see. And to mark that spot, you push M. Yes, that was a good spot. So yeah, you push M on your keyboard to mark it. So now we got that spot, let's find a clip. All right, I had this one marked. All right, so now we have a clip. Performance clips where he performed. 
we find that same mark, that same spot that we marked on the timeline. All right, now we got the same marked spot. And you're gonna drag video only. Not just dragging it here. This will drag both the video and the audio. This side right here will only drag the audio. We don't need the audio, we just need the video. All right. See, now you have the screen marker right here. And also this screen marker right here. This is the clip. We can't line them up, so we're going to drag drag back this right here. All right, now we can line both clips up. If your clips doesn't snap, you see this little magnet right here? It says snapping timeline. You click that. Make sure it's blue. And now when you drag your markers up, they both should click together. It should snap right there. Right, let's find another clip. I'm gonna show you how to find this marker. Alright, there's another spot right there. Alright, let's drag this one down, video only. Drag it back a little bit and click. Snap right in place. All right, so now we have clips lined up. And actually, let me explain something to you. This clip right here actually was 120 frames per second. So now you look over here, you can see that it's smaller because 120 is actually recording in uh, 1080 but this is a 4k timeline so now i'm going to right click on this clip scroll down set to frame size boom all right now let's cut our clips right here i'm going to toggle track lock on my video i mean i'm sorry my audio clip so I won't cut my audio. But now I'm gonna put C on my keyboard. And it brings up my cutting tool. And now you just cut in each spot that you think you wanna transition into another clip on your video. So you just play the, vid play the song until you hear a spot that you wanna transition. Right there, this one. So now I'm gonna hold down shift and right click. I'm sorry, left click, not right click. Left click and you would cut both clips or all clips that you have lined up on your timeline. Let's find another spot. There's another spot. I actually push back a little bit on my arrow keys to the, the to the downbeat to the, the the thump in the song the kick or whatever you want to call it 808 <laughs> so yeah my 120 frames per second clip it doesn't look like it's 120 frames per second anymore. It looks like it's 24 frames per second because it's on this 24 frames per second uh, timeline. But I can also slow it down 20% and it won't have any choppiness or anything in it. So you continue to chop up all of your clips. <clears throat> Down shift. 
hold on, I'm gonna hold down command and see. I think I'm gonna pick another spot right here. Yeah, you just continue to chop throughout the whole video. You may want to change it later, but this is a good start point. And you come back and you edit your video. Keep the video, keep the clips that you want. Take out the ones that you don't. Of course, you will have more than two clips here, so you will have more to choose from. But you keep the one you want and take out the rest that you don't. And you continue to do that throughout the whole video. That's the easiest way. All right, guys. Thank you, man. Click the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell to continue to get notifications. Continue to create. Be creative. Keep an open mind. Yeah, have a good day.